Hi everybody, it's Joni here and welcome back to my channel or hello for the very first time. Today I'm coming to you barefaced because we are going to take a look at this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So if you guys saw, I purchased this and I can't remember if I showed it on my channel probably about three weeks ago and I've been playing with it off and on ever since. I would say probably used it about 10 to 12 times at this point. I'm coming to you bare face because I want to show you guys this in action while I review it. The really nice thing about this was this cost me $5.99 Canadian at Walmart. It does come with one fluid ounce. So the amount of product that you get and the price point is fantastic. I have absolutely no complaints here. But I have to tell you guys, ooh, I don't know about this foundation. So <laughs> let's take a look first and foremost. I'm going to wipe off a little bit. To apply it, it comes with this paddle. It's a, actually a legitimate, looks like a little, little, little canoe oar there. And it, if you guys can hear it, it rattles around and is not in that lid very firm. So applying it to the face with this weird little spatula is just strange. I'm going to shake it up, but we're going to use it how they show, just for shits and giggles. All right. So spatula, I mean, it's, it's okay. I, I'm not super, super hating the spatula. Oh, geez, I just dropped my hair right in it. But I'm going to show you guys what happens with this foundation. Okay, so I am aware that I look like a dead person right now, but I wanted to apply it for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I review this. Just for reference, I am combination oily. Even with combination oily skin, this foundation, super duper crazy crazy, uh, needs me to add moisture underneath. This does not build worth a damn. It applies really weird to the face and it leaves this strange, strange texture on the skin. I bought this color, but I also bought a color that matches me better, but you can see this more dramatically with this extremely wrong color on my face, which is sort of what I wanted to show you today. So let's zoom right in here. So you guys will see, you guys know I have these big red patches. You can still totally see them. I'm not sure how well it's going to show, however, it builds up in every crease, crevice, smile line, accentuates my pores and leaves this really funny, splotchy, splotchy, almost like powdered look to the skin and it's just bizarre. I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see it with me zoomed in, but all in this area looks like someone who just took moist skin and stuck a bunch of powder on top of it and it balled up and gets really weird. I've applied this with a brush. I've applied this with a beauty blender. I've used really hydrating primers underneath. I've used silicone. I've used a whole gamut of things and this never looks right. It's just one of those foundations that I don't even think if you had super oily skin it would work for you because it just applies weird. It sits on the skin weird and as much as it looks powdery, it's still super tacky, so even though it looks powdery and it already looks cakey with nothing on top of it, because of its tackiness and its inability to super set down at any time, I have to put powder on top of that to set it. So on an already kind of cakey looking face, I'm adding more powder and getting super cake. The whole point of foundation for me is to make me look flawless. And honestly, this foundation makes me even look more flawed than I already am. And for that, it's a huge, huge thumb down. Please let us know in the comment section down below if you guys love this foundation or if you found a trick or a primer or an application process that makes it work because it's wet and wild. I want to love it so bad, but I just, I can't, I can't love it at all. I can't even like it <laughs> at all. It, it just has no redeeming qualities for me at this point and I would love to find a way to make it work because wet and wild is one of my favorite drugstore brands. And this was just so disappointing. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, dilemmas, please let us know in the comments down below. And you guys know the drillio. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you're already subscribed, please don't forget to ring my bell. And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all next time.